Guys, what's up? It is Doug, and uh, today I'm going to do an unboxing of this TLR tuned Low C LMT. Um, I was one of the first to pre order these, and because of that, uh, the shipment went out super early. I expected to have this much, much later. Before I get to work, I figured some of you are curious what's in the box here. We're talking about what's in the box, so you can see the box here. It's pretty small. Uh, you know, with monster truck boxes, the ready to run ones are pretty big. I'm excited to build a racing kit. It's been a while since I've done an actual racing kit. Um, probably an old buggy or something, probably 15 years ago as far as like an actual like tuned race kit. I built plenty of other kits, scalers, uh, you know, monster trucks, other things like that. But as far as an actual like racing performance kit, uh, going to be cool to build this one. So let's get into the box. Let's see what's in this thing. All right, guys, let's get into the box here and see this. Haven't opened it. I just used my razor blade here, opened it up. Ah, yes, that kit smell. You can smell the... Um, I guess it's not really plastic in this one. We have housing, I suppose, that are plastic, but it has that new kit smell. All these here. I've actually never built a Team Lozy kit. So this will be the first time ever for me. A lot of bags here. Looks like everything is organized. Ooh, they come... Uh, this is nice. I actually didn't know that it came with diff oil. I was going to talk about that here. Um, I actually plan on my truck to run the stock 500k diff oil in the center diff, and I'm actually not going to run anything in the uh in the uh, axle ones on my racing lmt i actually drained the diff oil out of the axles and i actually like it much much better i actually plan to use some cow rc utter butter in this one uh in the axles just to uh for the grease on it but otherwise it's going to be open um, i just feel the truck handles much much better at least to my liking when the diffs are open and then again i'm going to run that 500k in the um uh, in the center diff on it here we go looks like carbon fiber accessories here. It's going to be fun to build a truck like this carbon fiber. Looks like everything here is just done sequentially. It looks like you have bags A, B, C, D, so on like that. It's well organized or appears to be. Lots of heaviness in these bags here. Looks like the carbon fiber plates. That's what you're going to get there. Uh, you know, the carbon fiber on this one, I actually go back and forth. I hate to paint over carbon fiber because it looks beautiful. And these carbon fiber plates, let's just look at it, have a look at it here. See what the, the plates look like in the machine, machine work quality. And I know it's got the glare right now from the light on it here. Um, sorry for doing this here, like this right on camera, but you can see those plates. Man, these are light. That is some nice machine work on that here. Very smooth. Um, yeah, I, I can't paint over that. I'd be, I'd be an idiot to do that. Um, so what I was thinking about doing for this, this truck's going to be another rotten apple truck. Uh, which is kind of the paint scheme I use. This one is probably going to be a red rotten apple truck. And I had actually thought about doing like a, like a patinaed old rusted out truck uh, and even paint like rust and everything and uh, weather the carbon fiber to make it look like old metal. But with this 15 inch wheelbase that this truck is going to have, I figured I couldn't really get a good body for it that would work right. I actually plan to use a J Concept Snoop Nose on this, which I have off camera. And uh, because of that, I figured an early 90s uh, Chevy, even though I guess it is kind of vintage at this point, uh, it wouldn't probably look right as a patina type, uh, patinaed out truck. So what I'm going to do with this, use a Snoop Nose, probably use a candy red, something around that. Uh, I'll have, uh, it'll be a rotten apple red. That's kind of the idea of the truck is. Although when I start airbrushing, who knows what I'm going to wind up doing, but that's the idea. So I, I talked about or thought about doing carbon fiber, like painting it to paint the chassis, but I think I'm just going to paint the links because this, this is too nice uh, to paint this. Really, really slick. On this final bag here, you've got some of the machine parts um, that you're going to find in here. Here we go. Looks like these are some sway bar parts here in it. Again, I know this isn't uh, the most exciting thing here to see, um, you know, as far as on-camera stuff because everything just is in baggies and everything is so apart. I wanted to see these links though here. I'll open one of these here. Uh, just to see what the quality is on these machine links on this one. Yep, um, I love the uh, you know the links that uh, that Lozy uses here. These are very very high quality high quality machine work. I am going to paint these links though. That is the one thing I'm not going to paint the carbon fiber chassis, but I am going to do the links. Let's see here, and then oh, that's nice. We have some spare hardware. Always like that. You know, I don't know if this kit uses C-clips. Boy, I hope not. Uh, on a clod buster, that's like the bane of my existence is all of those those C-clips that inevitably, you know, you uh, you wind up losing. Or C-clips, E-clips, whatever they're called. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then we have the manual right here. 
uh, again, I've never done a Lozy build ever. And I've been RCing since the early 90s. So uh, be cool to finally say I built a Lozy kit actually here. Looks pretty simple. The instructions look very well laid out. Let's see, what do we got here stepwise? How many? Now you can see it goes by, it doesn't go by numbers actually. It goes by bag, I guess. So you have like G4, H1, I1, I2. Um, you got your exploded view here. Yeah, it, um, it looks pretty standard as far as kits goes. It feels very high quality um, as the manual goes and the part here the parts and how it's laid out, it's nice. I always hate when you get a kit and it's just a bunch of, you know, madness that's laid out and you gotta hunt for everything. Looks like it'll be pretty simple here to do. Now wheels and tires on this one, I have these J Concepts, uh, the new Firestorm racers here. I actually already painted the wheels red. Um, I don't know, I might, I have another set of these actually. These actually are the ones, the red ones that are gonna go on my other Rotten Apple LMT, but um, I'm gonna be painting the rims probably pretty similar. I might use a candy red though here. But I can't wait to use these, these uh, Firestorm racers. They're very aggressive. And these have the new uh, Slam Tech uh, single stage foams in them. Basically the, um, you know, it's not the standard foams. It's the closed cell. I'm going to put everything back in here uh, for organization. But I hope to have this truck ready by April 2nd for the race. Well, I don't hope to. I'm going to have it ready uh, when Trigger King opens up. I'm going to do a video here to talk about the opening of Trigger King season and the uh, schedule. I'll do that very shortly here. I'm actually gonna film that after I film this one. And uh, you're gonna hear uh, some detailed uh, post-race impressions. I'll do that on the TLR kit because this one is gonna be different than my other LMT. Again, this truck here, 15-inch uh, wheelbase, gonna be quite a bit longer of a wheelbase. And it's gonna be a lot lighter than my other LMT, which is all uh, treal. Has a bunch of treal stuff on it, which is heavier. So interesting to see the difference in these things. All right, guys, that's what is in the box here. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, you know, good luck to you guys out there when you're getting them. I can't wait to build this thing here and uh, look for more on this after I run it at our April 2nd event. Going to have the full post race impressions on how this truck did. So um, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.